Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning, my husters. Guess what we are cooking today? We are making my famous lowball. Let's get ready. Now, I'm not going to give all my secrets. I've already put my secrets in this pan because it took me seven years to formulate the flavor that I wanted. So some things are going to be unknown. But we've already put those in the pot. So what we're going to add in this pot with those three ingredients that I'm not going to tell you about, we're going to add a whole lot of seasoning. So y'all see this big old pan I'm about to show y'all. We're coming on over here y'all because I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients. Altogether it is ten ingredients that I do use. So um, over here we also have Five cut up celery, one large bell pepper, one large onion, seven fresh garlic chopped. And we also have red and white potatoes that we're going to be adding in later on. And we also have corn that we're going to be adding on. And I'm going to chop it in small pieces as we go along. And then we're going to also add in... Uh, sausage as we move on. So this is like a three hour process. So we are, what we'll do is get all these seasonings in. We're gonna let these turkey necks um, uh, boil for at least one hour before we add any more ingredients in it. Then you're gonna taste it at that point just in case you wanna add something else. I add a whole bunch of something somethings in my pot. So let's get started. We're gonna start off with some salt. I'm gonna add, it's a big old pot in here, y'all. Let me show you how, how, tall, that, how tall it is to, to let y'all know how much seasoning I'm going to put in there. There is quite a bit of liquid. So I'm gonna add at least a tablespoon of salt. It is not too much for this dish, y'all. I'm gonna add in about two tablespoons of black pepper. I'm going to add in a tablespoon of Lari seasoned salt. I'm going to add in uh, my wonderful Goya adobo all-purpose seasonings. I only have a little in here, but I have some on the side that I'm going to have to open because I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half of this. I'm gonna add in some Old Bay. I'm gonna add in about two tablespoons of Old Bay. I'm gonna add in some Spanish uh, smoked paprika with that wonderful smoky flavor. And this, I only got about a tablespoon. We'll, we'll, we'll just put all that in there. But I have more in the cabinet. We're gonna also add in about two tablespoons of onion powder and now after we get all this mixed in I want you guys to taste it because I'm also going to add a little sugar in uh, as well the same two tablespoons of garlic powder and it, uh, not ready y'all it smell good y'all know I'm heavy handed with these seasonings huh? that's what we do in these black houses I'm going to now give that a stir Oh, I will add, y'all, I did add in two large lemons that were squeezed for their juices, and then I like them to cook in here for the first hour, and then I'll take those out because the lemon would be done how I want it. So I'm going to get a spoon. I'm going to taste this like I always do because I have to have this, this flavor that, that is out of this world in here. And uh, so, y'all, let's do it.
Man, I'm good. That is just perfect, but I want to add some more adobo. Maybe I'll take another tablespoon of adobo. That is, that is, this is already good, y'all. I'm done seasoning because of my other uh, ingredients that is in here. But I do want to add just a little sugar. I always sprinkle sugar, y'all. I'll be right down. Oh, that's good. That is so freaking good. I'm going to do like a, a tablespoon of sugar. Let's give that another stir. This is going to be a big pot of a whole lot of goodness, honey. It is already smelling good. Let's rinse our spoon and taste it again. That's delicious. Totally delicious. So what we're going to do, let me show you. Uh-oh. We are going to let this boil for one full hour. When we come back, we're going to add in all these fresh vegetables um, and let it cook for about another 30 minutes. And then we'll come back. We'll add the uh, potatoes and the sausage. And then last, we'll add the corn. This is a three-hour process. Keep that in mind. Cook it low and slow. You want it to be good. You want all these flavors to just marry together because once you have it, honey, mm, whew, you'll cook it again and again and again. So I'll see y'all later. Bye. Okay, y'all, we are back. These uh, turkey necks have been cooking for one full hour. I'm going to get a fork because I'm going to check their tenderness right now. Uh, to see how they how they how they working up in here. Oh yeah, they getting out. So what we're gonna do now, y'all, as I stated, we're gonna add in all our fresh veggies. We are adding in all our veggies, which is the celery, the bell pepper, the onion, and the garlic. And again, I used about five celery stalks. I use one large bell pepper, I use one large in, uh, uh, onion, and I used about six uh, garlic clove fresh, and they are just chopped. I like them chopped in nice sized pieces so that they don't get lost in the sauce. Hey, hey. So let's get those in there. Give it a good stir. I'm going to now let this cook for another 45 minutes. And then uh, I'm going to come back and then we'll add in the sausage and potatoes. And then we'll let that cook for about 20 minutes longer. And then we'll come back and we will put in the corn at that time, y'all. So right now I'm going to let this cook again for 45 minutes. Because I'm the best cook in the hood. See you in a little bit. Okay, y'all. 45 minutes has gone. Let's open up the pot and see how far it is from these turkey necks being tender. So we got a pretty big one right here. So let's put that fork in there. Uh-oh. I don't want to fall off the spoon. So... Uh, it's, it's almost where I want it to be. Y'all see that? It's just lifting up. So now, this is good timing. I am now going to add in the potatoes. I'm not going to pour them in there because we don't want all that juice to splot. And don't forget, I'm adding yellow and white potatoes. The very small potatoes, that is. The, uh, for the boiled potatoes. And I have poked them with a fork as well. We're going to get those in here. Y'all, 
And then we're going to get the sausage in here as well. And we're going to give that a stir to make sure we incorporate them down in this pot. And this is what that pot looks like. So, we are going to cook this, this one here, for 20 minutes because you do not want to overcook your potatoes. I do not like mushy potatoes in my boil. So what we'll do here, since we're cooking these for 20 minutes, and I want my corn to have that great flavor that's in this pot, let's go, let's just go ahead and add this corn, y'all. And like I told y'all, I, I cut my corn down to these sizes. Uh, Cause you know, you don't want to have a whole bunch of corn all over your face. So let's get that in there. We got lots of corn. Uh oh, that got two potatoes that was hiding over here. Now this is a lot of food, but I will be sharing it with my neighbors because they want to know what this little boy. And I told them if they ever want to make uh, uh, want me to make it for them, it's gonna cost. Yes, I'm just getting that broken up corn for y'all from when I cut it. Let's make sure that corn is incorporated in here as well. That corn is gonna soak up so much of this goodness, y'all. I am so excited about this little ball because it has been a while since I did it. We're gonna take one final look and we're gonna let this cook for 20 minutes and then we'll come back with the, uh, the rest. So y'all, let's let that simmer and I'll see y'all in a moment. In a moment, the best cook in the hood. Oh, hey, y'all. Here you go. That's that low ball. Oh, I'm so excited. I did take some down to my neighbor so she can taste it. Oh, my goodness. And y'all, mm, see, I'm telling you, I like to, um, oh, that good. I like to put this on top just a little because it's salty. I like to sprinkle just a little bit, slap your mama on top with some hot sauce. Honey, this is bomb. Mm. Oh, good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. Mm. I wish you could taste it with me. Mm-hmm.